been blessed to be able to be a part of it at, at a school like Penn State. So prestigious. Um, but yeah, I don't know what team I'd, I'd add, uh, but I'm sure Commissioner Warren's got his ideas, and I'm excited to see it. Any place you've always wanted to play or anything like that? You know, I, I grew up in uh, a little bit of a Notre Dame fan because you know some of my, my my family members went there, so I go to games. Um, never played Notre Dame, so that would be cool. Um, but you know, I, I wasn't really a, a college sports fan as much as an NFL sports fan. You know, I'm a Bengals fan, and I'm I'm damn proud to say that this year because in the past it's been rough. Uh, but I am a Cincinnati Bengals fan, and we are coming for it this year. So shout out, hey Joe Burrow. I got you. you know, I said this yesterday, and I, I, I've heard this weekend's the first time I've heard 16. Um, you know, originally there was a group that came out and, and recommended 12 a year ago. Um, I was in favor of eight. I can live with 12, 16. I just don't want it to be four anymore. I want to get off of four. I think. Uh, we, we we need a inclusion um, for our, I think it's it'll be better for for college football if we have if you, if you have an opportunity for more people to be in it and if you lose a game early in the year uh, people are throwing their hands up saying oh you're out of the you're, you're out of the CFB uh, you know there's more to it than that we haven't been able to win a championship yet yeah we have big they said we always have Ohio State on our schedule he basically said if you want to win a championship you got to beat Ohio State and that was the year we beat them. They were number one, came into our place, um, and we won our first championship, won three in a row. It's not the on the field, the mess around the block, just talking about random stuff, but all the stuff that doesn't involve football, that's the fun part about it. And the older you get, I think they're more about It does, and I think it's part of the great thing of being around youth today, right? Like everybody says, how is... How are players different now than they were 20 years ago? I don't think they're different. I just think that they have things that shape their lives that have never been present before, right? Uh, social media, um, mental health, uh, and then you throw on that all the NIL stuff, and, and you know, there's kids that have so much pressure uh, coming to college. Like sometimes kids want to stay close to home, but I think some kids want to run as far away from home as they can, right? Because they are trying to set a new standard for themselves. Um, I love the way our guys look today. I can't pull that look off, but they can, and I think it's just an evolution. Um, uh, of, of the times that, and, and it's just I think good coaches adapt uh, they don't adjust they adapt to what the current times say right and uh, I think that's one rapport we have right now is respecting our program uh, all those players we, we really can't get people to leave our program right like I mean some people you know run guys off or try to get guys out of their program our guys don't want to leave which is I mean the way I think we want to have it thought he was going to take that and the fact that he passed the conditioning test coming off a significant injury where a lot of guys that I've seen, when they have a significant injury, they may use that as a reason to have a modified conditioning test. And here's a guy that said, okay, I know there's some things that I need to accomplish both physically and mentally to check all the boxes to be prepared against Purdue. And one of them, is pass the conditioning test that I passed as a freshman at 285 pounds, that now I'm passing as a fifth year senior at 320 pounds before the steak and the lobster, <laughs> and he does it, and, and takes great pride in it and has fun with it. So it's interesting, we were talking last night at dinner, and he kept saying it, kept saying it to the waiter, he said it to Pat, he said it to me, and that was gonna be his deal with everybody he talked to, that was gonna be his answer for everything. And I passed the conditioning test. But to me, that, that it's, it's an example of one of the lessons that we think is really important in our program is you're going to work hard in this program and you're gonna work hard the rest of your life. You might as well have fun and a great attitude while you're doing it. And he's a great example of that. The conditioning test for you is very different than a conditioning test for that man based on body types and how his career is gone. So it's a good question. We're having fun with it, but I also want to get a, the point across how proud I am of him, how proud I am of you, and Sean, and our locker room, and our team.